Hey folks, Brian Blessing in Las Vegas. Always glad to be with you at bangthebook.com and it's the final major and some real price play opportunities for you for the 148th British Open. The Open Championship in Ireland at Royal Port Rush. Now, this is a par 72, 7,337 yards. Rory McIlroy, Graham McDowell playing at home. A lot of pressure. McDowell uh, really fought his way to get in. And McIlroy is a big shot, but it's the pressure of playing at home. It's a major. There's pressure to begin with. Uh, but you look at it. Kepka 8-1. to one. He's the favorite on the board. He's been a major machine. But there are flat out some real players to consider at some real nice long prices. Now, I'll tell you, Francesco Molinari, defending champ at 25-1, to one, no reason to think he's not going to be on this leaderboard throughout the week. He is just that steady and that consistent. we got bumps and humps and it's all about Lynx golf, and it brings a lot of guys in. You go from linoleum, fast greens here in North America to the shaggy, slower greens over in Ireland. So it kind of brings the field together a little bit. Uh, John Rom wins the Irish Open. That number plummets. We always say sometimes it's when you bet as much as who you bet. Rom wins in the Irish Open. Really impressive, and he's got confidence coming in. His number's all the way down to 16-1. to 1. You're talking about defending cha or former British Open champions that are involved in this event. Speed, Stenson, McElroy, Louis Ustase, and Darren Clark, Zach Johnson, and of course Tiger Woods has won it three times, coming off a long layoff. Tigers on the board at 16 to one. I would say of the former champs, the guy I think could be real sneaky at a real nice price is Henrik Stenson. Hits his three wood a mile in straight, and Stenson, of course with that great final round duel with Mickelson a few years back. I think Stenson's a guy you could take a look at. I will tell you that there are a couple of guys from England that I'm all in on. I think are going to play great here as Tommy Fleetwood at 25-1. to 1. He was okay uh, at the Irish Open, but I think Fleetwood comes in here. And Matt Wallace at 50-1. to 1. This is a guy that is he's a great player on the European Tour. And I don't think, you know, there are the tr problem spots that he's faced in North America, less water, that sort of thing. I think Wallace could be in the fray as well. Xander Shoffley's got a consistent game built for a major 25-1. to 1. Justin Rose, nobody talks about him at 20-1. to 1. Matt Kuchar, 40-1. to 1. He's been really, really, really consistent. I'll give you a long shot play. Kevin Kistner, 125-1, to 1, was two shots behind Molinari last year. Sung J.M., I've been talking about this kid forever and a day. 150 to 1. I think he's going to win somewhere, and I do believe this is the most wide open of the four majors. You could take a look at a guy like that. Five new greens, eight new tee boxes, 10 new bunkers, and two brand new holes, seven and eight that have been put together for this event. It's really intriguing. Uh, I think there are price plays aplenty, uh, but again, I, I like the English guys. I like Fleetwood, and I like Matt Wallace. Kisner's a guy I'd consider. Another one you can take a peek at is Rafa Cabrera Bello at 80 to 1. He really had the Irish Open in his back pocket and let it get away. But it's going to be a fun one. The Open Championship in Northern Ireland. And we got you covered right here at bangthebook.com. Follow me on Twitter, Brian Blessing. As always, you know, check in with our buddy Adam Burke with the Sports Betting Podcast. Bangthebook.com.